Nasty Jutsu. What the? Did it not work? Uh, oh, I'm already sexy. Okay, I'll just let my intro play. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and I'm back with another Funko Pop review slash unboxing. But before I get into it, y'all already know what I gotta do. I gotta welcome back all my returning viewers slash subscribers. I gotta say shout out to y'all because y'all don't want to support me coming back to these videos, and I gotta say I love y'all. Secondly, I gotta shout out all the people that are isolating themselves and quarantining themselves because I know right now it's hard and a lot of people are getting cabin fever, but don't worry. I got you. Secondly, if you're a newer viewer to the channel, welcome to the channel. I do Funko Pop content, like Funko Pop hauls, Funko Pop reviews. Uh, we talk about pops on this channel a lot. We talk about anime content as well and Dragon Ball Z content. So if you like content like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button since you're already down there. Also, if you want to be notified whenever I make a new video, go ahead and hit that post notification bell. That way, you'll be notified. Thirdly, don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections. The link will be in the description below. And I have a public Discord for collectors and nerds all alike called Sacred Discord of the Kai's. If you guys want to join that, I'll be in there. I got a lot of other people in there too. So if you want to talk to us, go ahead and hit that invitation link. But if it's not working, DM me on Instagram and I'll send you a link. So we all know that all this whole quarantine thing is happening. So we got to order a lot of pops online. And honestly, I didn't expect the pop that I ordered today to get to me so quick. I did order the Naruto Sexy Jutsu, which is a box lunch exclusive. I actually posted it on my community tabs and it shipped like two or three days afterwards. I bought two because you know, lately how box lunch and Hot Topic have been shipping their pops off lately. I really don't want to take the risk, but thankfully, 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 they shipped it in the box, guys. Let me show you the box. What is that? Now, there's something sliding around in here and that's not the size of the pop, but we will see what happens when I unbox this. I wanna show you guys how mine came in, like what condition it came in. And this is with the box lunch uh, exclusive. I know a lot of people got the sexy jutsu early with the special edition sticker, but y'all already know how I feel if you're a returning viewer slash subscriber. That sticker is super ugly and none of that will ever be in my collection. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now, Sexy Jutsu was a Jutsu slash technique created by Naruto from obviously the show Naruto slash Naruto Shippuden. And uh, honestly, this uh, Jutsu is like a gag Jutsu. I don't think it's really supposed to be taken seriously. It's more of a joke and, oh, well, I mean, packaging is all right. Let me let me take out my, my shipping info and all that. All right guys, so I did take out the invoice and all that and this is what the box looks like right here. Now, this is way better packaging than what I thought, but it's a lot of empty room, but I'm pretty sure the way people have been doing, I'm pretty sure they're not just throwing the boxes willy-nilly and all that. And what's a Nasako with Teto Pop? Some of these pops sometimes be having like code names and I be thinking it's like pops that are gonna come out later. Like one of the pops I ordered had a Trigon thing. Uh, it's all, It was on the sorter and I'm not sure if they're gonna make Trigon pops, but the Trigon. I'm not sure if they're gonna make Trigon pops, but if you want pops like that, let me know down below. I used to watch it when I was younger, but I never watched it fully like in succession. But uh, I'm thinking about doing a rewatch on that too. I got a lot of pops, I mean a lot of uh, animes that I need to rewatch and my list just keeps growing longer and longer and longer. By the days all right guys let's go ahead and open up this first order right here hopefully this pop is looking crispy like i like them and oh oh it is oh it, it's kind of a little dusty but that's the box dust oh y'all know how i feel about dusty pops oh yeah i like this one guys naruto uzumaki with the sexy jutsu box lunch exclusive i know the box light is getting all the glare right now but this is how it looks right here guys y'all already know what i gotta do i gotta get a little unboxing of this but let me unbox the second one to see if that one came in mint condition as well all right second unboxing and this one came in mint too y'all already know what i'm doing with these guys once i double up that means i plan on getting these pop one of the pop sign and one to tuck in the collection because i want to get an autographed uh section in my room somewhere when i get my new nerd room i don't know where or how i'm going to organize it yet but i'm going to get that and i gotta get the normal one just to put in the collection like in the wall somewhere but enough talk about that let's go ahead and get into the review portion of this video all right guys so let's go ahead and get a closer look at this naruto uzumaki sexy jutsu funko pop uh which is a box lunch exclusive like i said before this is a variation of i guess a naruto pop but it's a different variation it's a good added variation because this is what kind of like this was like a big old gag joke back in uh the original naruto series because naruto shippuden is the sequel to naruto the original anime series but this is like a jutsu that he basically perfected which is kind of weird and he turned into this adult grown woman that's basically in the nude in the clouds i don't think they ever showed them naked obviously because it is in a 
PG, PG-13 anime, but it's super funny to see that they actually made this a pop. Now, like I said before, I would love a lot of other characters as Funko Pop forms, but this is also a welcome, I mean, I added welcome, I mean, a welcome variation to the Funko Pop uh, collection of Naruto, but let's get a little closer into this. Let's 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 go ahead. Now, one thing I did like about this, which sa is sad that I have to make this a stand. I mean, that it's not a standard. This is a heavy pop, guys. Cause look how look how big this is, guys. Look how big this is. This is a heavy pop, and it comes with a stand. Funko learned that if you're gonna have heavier pops, please let them come with a stand because this it stands all right on its own, but I'm not really too secure with it. I feel like if I bump the table or whatever it's like, you know, uh, displayed on, it will fall over. But I like that this came with a stand. But let's go ahead and talk about the details of the figure. Like, okay, I'm hoping I don't get like demonetized because um she is kind of nude, but she's not covered, but she's all covered up. But I love the detail because this is this is a whole lot of weight. I love the detail of her winking at you while she's blowing a kiss. Obviously. She she doesn't have a mouth which is kind of weird because i know some uh, funko pops like the vegeta eating noodles and the goku eating noodles both have a, a mouth on them but they didn't put a mouth on this one which is kind of weird but if you're a naruto fan you obviously know that she's blowing a kiss at you especially with this little heart in her hand which i really really love that they put a little heart in her hand showing that she's blowing a kiss and that uh it's it's translucent i really like that it's kind of see-through really nice detail added by funko themselves now let's look at the smoke this smoke is hilarious because this is basically how it's drawn in the show just give y'all a little 360 look at it and i love the way that this pop is designed it has a little kneel forward thing like the uh a sexy jutsu girl i basically has during the show when he does transform into it and i'm really loving this pop i love the wink that she has it just has the the sexy appeal that the sexy jutsu has now they should have like coupled this like had this in a two-pack like with her like this and either jiraiya having a nosebleed or something or uh ebisu the closet perv they should have had him uh both having a nosebleed or something because that would have been a that would have been a definite want slash cop in the collection i don't know i don't know that's just me that's just me tell me what you guys think they should have if they made it this a two-pack and they put this in there Tell me what you guys think uh, should have been like the person that should have had the nosebleed in there. But I really, I'm really digging this pop, guys. I really love the detail that they have with it. Um, not much to say, really. The hands on the uh, knee, just well, the hands on the thigh, giving it the the sexy sex appeal look of the sexy jutsu. But guys, I'm really enjoying this one. It's it's actually pretty good. I like the smoke around, well, the smoke uh, fog, whatever you want to call it. I like it around her foot too as well. Okay, are we calling this a him or a her? Yeah, let me know down in the comments down below because I really don't know, but I really like the way this looks. Um, I gotta get keep two because, like I said before, gotta get one sign, gotta keep one in the collection. But let's go ahead and cut back to me. All right, guys, so that is it for the Naruto Uzumaki Sexy Jutsu Funko Pop review slash unboxing. Let me know what you guys thought about this pop. Y'all already know what I gotta do. I'm a completionist on this channel. If you're a returning viewer slash subscriber, y'all already know how we get down this channel. Completionist season. And y'all know I gotta collect a lot of my animes. Especially, I gotta keep all my anime sets complete. Especially because a lot of anime pops, they skyrocket in price, guys. But like I said before, let me know what you think about this pop. Let me know if you cop this pop. Let me know if it's on the way to y'all. Like... Let me know if y'all really wanted this pop, because I know a lot of people want actual different characters. Like, the character I want right now, currently, is Pain, because he is one of my favorite villains in Naruto Shippuden. Funko, please make a Pain pop. But that's all I got to say for the video. Like I said before, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like content like this, and hit that like button if y'all haven't already. But I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.